If you've been watching track and field at the Paralympics, then you know that these games have been everything we could have asked for, and then some. We've seen more than our fair share of upsets than any reasonable man would have betted on. Because Cole Hawker was not supposed to win the men's 1500 for America, but he did. Because leaderboards don't run the races for you. And although history tends to give us a good idea of which nations to focus on, and St. Lucia has never been on that list. The fact that Julian Alford is now the world's new fastest woman is proof that history has always been meant to be rewritten. Yet perhaps the most competitive event that most people didn't even know to look out for has to be the women's 100 hurdles. Because historically speaking, we know the Americans are a threat to sweep the podium. And it really doesn't matter who they send in the uniform. They already did it back in 2016. And now they have the world's fastest woman in 2024, Masai Russell with two more women inside the top five joining her in Paris. But Lolo Jones will definitely tell you that this is still the hurdles at the Olympics. So anything can happen. But if it's going to go down, it's definitely gonna start off during the heats. Because ranked outside the top five on the world leaderboards for this year are the reigning Olympic champion, the reigning world champion, the current world indoor record holder in the 60 meter hurdles, and the current outdoor world record holder in the 100 hurdles. Long story short, this is going to be epic because there's only three medals to hand out and a whole bunch of women who believe that this moment is their moment. But that's why we run the races. So let's have a very real conversation about the heat for the women's 100 hurdles over at the Paris Olympics because there are no safe bets in the hurdles because like I said, anything can happen. And the only way I know how to do this is to simply go heat for heat because win factors really don't matter that much during the hurdles. And the only thing that does is running fast enough and clean enough through those hurdles to make it clear that you deserve a lane in that final. And the fireworks got started immediately in heat one, where Toby Amuthan of Nigeria won the heat. But she's the current world record holder in this event. So of course she's supposed to do that. But America's Lele Johnson was right behind her because they both put a whole bunch of distance between them and the rest of the field. But if you're new here, I wanna say thank you for even making it this far into the video. And I'm Coach Rob, the founder of SEARecruiting.com, where I rank the best track and field recruits across the entire nation. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comment section because I try to read them all. And in Heat 2, Jasmine Camacho Quinn of Puerto Rico definitely took care of business, as she was supposed to do, as the reigning Olympic champion, because nobody was close to her in that heat either. But Heat 3 was definitely the most entertaining, because Masai Russell of America was the world leader heading into this event, and she technically won her heat, but I said technically, because she tied down to the millisecond with Nadine Visser of the Netherlands. They both ran 12.528 seconds exactly. But that's not all, because Sarine Sambamayela of France was right behind them in 12.56. And after all that, Jamaica's Danielle Williams got the victory in Heat 4. And it wasn't all that close at the line either. But remember, she is the reigning world champion for a reason. As a matter of fact, she's done it twice, from 2015 and 2023. And still the final heat was stacked with talent at the top, where Akira Nugent of Jamaica got the victory in 12.65 seconds. She was second on the world leaderboards, heading into the Olympics, so that shouldn't be so much of a surprise anymore. But the indoor world record holder, Divine Charlton, was right behind her. And then America's Grace Stark, just 100th behind that. If you saw the men's 100 meter final, then you know that that race definitely lived up to the hype. So as far as I'm concerned, if you enjoyed that, that you need to be watching the women's 100 hurdles this Olympics. Between this moment and the final, they're still going to run the repechage rounds as well as the semis. But if your plan is to actually get a medal in that final, then we probably should have seen something in your performance during the heats. And I apologize to all of the athletes whose names I did not mention, because this is the 100 hurdles where anything can happen, including history repeating itself, or somebody throwing out the book and writing us a whole brand new one. But if that is really your plan, then now you know who exactly you need to beat in order to pull it off. SCA Track and Field Gear is here. Fast is a lifestyle, and what you wear should reflect that. Order yours at scarecruiting.com slash shop, or use the link in the description below. It's a huge support to me 
and this channel so I can continue to make you more content like this. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.